Item number SCP-5230. Containment class neutralized. Security level 2. Disruption class dark. Assigned site Site 20. Site director Dr. Hesk. Research head Dr. Stevens. Assigned MTF MU-13 Ghostbusters. Archived containment procedures. SCP-5230 is to be stored in a modified biological containment cell at Site-20. The cell is to be under constant surveillance and tapes must be available upon request. SCP-5231 is to be fenced off from the public with the cover story, Grade A listed building, being disseminated to a local resident. Once the removal of SCP-5230, no further anomalous properties have been discovered. Special Containing Procedures The remains of SCP-5230 are to be stored in a standard item locker. SCP-5231 is undergoing approval for renovation into a new orphanage for the local area under the ownership of the Foundation Front Company, Sam's Child Protection. Discovery 5230 was discovered after police investigated the premises due to local residents reporting noises emanating from within the structure. The police report noted a series of interrelated anomalies such as the sounds of footsteps, doors opening on their own accord, and hushed conversation. A Foundation agent landed within the County Police Department forwarded the report on to the Foundation for Investigation. All members of the police force involved were amnesticized. Following this, a special task force comprised of two Spectral Phenomena Department researchers and three members of MTF Mu-13 Ghostbusters was assigned to investigate SCP-5231. No lasting physical effects on the house was found from the spectral disturbance. However, certain objects appeared appeared new despite their known age. These items include a small damaged wooden rocking horse, a set of black hairs on the chair, a child's diary, and a drawing of an unknown humanoid. Upon further investigation into the building, SCP-5230 itself was discovered to be the source of the anomaly and was contained at Site-20. Description SCP-5230 as a dollhouse replica of an old abandoned 20th century orphanage designated SCP-5231 in Ryuk prior to its dissertation. Records show that the orphanage was abandoned around 1984 due to a fire consuming much of the building overnight. It is unknown how the fire started. Since recovery, at a seemingly random time each day, SCP-5230 and the doors inside designated A2D will enact a scene resembling orphanage life. A list of the current occurrences were listed below. Extraneous logs have been removed. Day Number Summary Rest Day of Observation Upon removal from the premises of SCP-5231, the doors inside SCP-5230 were seen to be taught in a small study room. The scene ended after exactly two minutes. Third Day of Observation SCP-5230-B was seen playing with a rocking horse, whilst SCP-5230-D brushed her hair in the living room. The other two instances were found playing with wooden dolls in the bedroom. Seventh Day of Observation Two unfamiliar dolls, designated E and F respectively, were seen to materialize at the doorway to SCP-5230. Upon entering the office room, a piece of paper appeared on the table, coated in ink. This paper was removed after a minute. SCP-5230-D was seen to follow as SCP-5230 ENF exited, none of the three instances have returned. Eighth Day of Observation The remaining instances were seen to be playing in the drawing room. These instances do not seem to have reacted negatively to the loss of SCP-5230-D. 
worth day of observation. The doors appeared drained of energy and are seen to open around the house for the duration of the scene. 19th day of observation. Instances of the doors inside SCP-5230 were seen to be drawing figures on the paper. The phrase, my future home, could be seen marked at the top of each one. Addendum 1. The 20th scene from SCP-5230 was recorded on the 18th of February, 2014. Contents of the tape were transcribed below. Day number. Summary. 20th day of observation. The posters from the previous scene had been hung on the walls, each with a single candle below it on the mantelpiece. The instances was seen to lie down in bed and presumably fall asleep. After approximately ten minutes, one of the posters falls and lands on the candle, quickly becoming set alight. The fire quickly gains a hold on the house, causing SCP-5230 to become engulfed in flame. At this point, Dr. Stevens is alerted and remote fire extinguishers were deployed. However, no change in fire's intensity is noticed. After approximately 20 minutes, all of the interior is destroyed and SCP-5230 appears to directly resemble its real-life counterpart. In the ashes of SCP-5230, a scorched metal sign was found. It has been transcribed below. Happily ever after. Following these events, SCP-5230 has been reclassified to neutralized. Addendum 2. On the 18th of November, 2014, three newborn babies were discovered outside the SCP-5231 doors. A witness noticed a tall, dark-haired woman, approximately 30 years old, leaving the premises soon after. She was seen to be clutching an old, tidy wooden doll. All children were also found clutching similar doors. Though, it should be noted that the latter were found to be in far better condition. Upon the arrival of the children, all traces of SCP-5230 have disappeared from within locked item storage. Further investigation into the children is pending.